I will be here and I have an extra form. So what we do is outreach to visit uh, the vulnerable populations in like Ottawa. Uh, like just to check uh, check upon them, like just to make sure they're okay. The basic needs are, are met, and if they need additional resources, we're there to help them, connect them with the different resources uh, with the city of Ottawa. So yeah, it's a, it's a great thing to do. Um, well that I would go. Uh, Okay, so you figure out the, the place. Oh, okay. okay. So I'll meet you at 16th Kirkwood. Sure. I'll walk there because it's like we're asked to show up in a specific place, a meeting place, where we're given our addresses that we need to visit, and we're paired up in teams. We get our gloves, we get our masks, sanitizer, um, and uh, the forms that we need to fill. Then we take our cars or we Uber to these addresses and start uh, knocking on the doors to see how people are doing. We try to talk to them, get as much um, information about their needs, about uh, what they're missing, and try to have some conversation with them just to give them some emotional care and support. volunteer with the Red Cross for a little bit over a year. I just recently finished my master's in international development. I'm very interested in humanitarian action and human rights. Um, just very fulfilling to see that I'm able to help people who otherwise cannot get that access to help. So I think that's why I'm interested in humanitarian action and human rights, because a lot of people have needs that are not met and they don't know how to meet them. They don't know the resources available. So sometimes I think it's important for us to take initiative to um, seek those who need help. I think it comes down to that. Hello, we're from the Canadian Red Cross. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I don't know English. Oh, uh, Chinese. Ah, 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 Chinese. So they don't speak English at all. Mm -hmm. They all speak Mandarin, so they're Mandarin speakers. Mm -hmm. So I told them that if, if they need anything, they just call 211. Yeah. I also give them the this number here, yeah. the Human Needs Task Force number here. Yeah. So it, he seems pretty good though. Yeah. He's, uh, See if your needs are met, how you're coping with all of this COVID-19 uh, situation. It's very stressful. It is stressful, yeah. yeah. yeah it is. I'm just tired of being cooped up here. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's hard on everyone though. Yeah. yeah. So do you have your food and medication? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my cat. Hi. Hi. That's Max. Hi. That's Max. Hi, buddy. Max. <laughs> So we may have to revisit them uh, a couple times just to reach them. So in that case, we will leave them with the information. Uh, just so if they need help, they can always call 211. 211 is a city number that will connect all the people to different social service resources. For example, if they need food, they, they can connect them with the food bank. We leave them with those information just to let them know that there will always be resources for them from the city of Ottawa.